Guys, I'm at this whole puddle festival again, um, you know, uh, part of the Federation. And as always, someone's phone call comes in at the wrong time. Um, okay, right, I'm with Debbie from Azlef. I'm really proud to be with Azlef today. They've, they are really taking the fight to the government to support their members and make sure that, you know, there is a proper pay for their members. Uh, you know, but there's a lot of misconception which is out there in the media at the moment. And what about Debbie here? I think she will be able to clear up a lot of these things. So Debbie, first of all, how do you find Toll Puddle today? It's great, it's a lovely day. Yeah, <laughs> it's not too hot finally. It's, it's uh, nice. nice breeze. Yeah, and um, you know, tell us more about Azef, you know, who you guys represent. In. Okay, Azef represents most of the train drivers in the UK. We have 97% uh, density. Um, I'm a driver on the underground. Um, our density on there is sort of a more of a 60-40 split with the RMC. Right. Yeah, and is it just drivers that you represent or is there anyone else? Well, no, our main body is drivers and people in the line of promotion for drivers. Okay, okay, so, you know, with all the things that are going on at the moment, ASIC has decided to take, you know, is it industrial action in the future? Yeah. The, the, your members are voting to do that. You know, what's the reason behind it? Well, on the on national rail, they've not had a pay rise for three years. We've worked all the way through COVID, putting ourselves and our families at risk. And they think that anything less than um, a cost of living pay rise would be a deficit. So that's what they're asking for. On the underground, it's slightly more, uh, we've had a, an active um, mandate all the way through COVID because um, management were looking to um, alter our terms and conditions. And with that live mandate, we think it's sort of stayed for off for a while. But I think at some point we're going to have to put it forward now. Yeah, and at the end of the day, cost of living crisis is, is kicking in really bad for members right across different areas. Um, and sometimes industrial action has to take place to get, get the message forward. I know you guys have negotiated time and time again. Grant Shapps hasn't exactly been the, the, the best person to negotiate with. But you know what? It is what it is. We support you guys. Thank you. That's right and centre, and you know, you guys are doing a great job. Well, apart from the cost of living crisis, is there any other challenges that you foresee for, you know, in the future? Well, I think government interference, really. The DFT are getting involved in things where, and like they're running the show, but they're sort of the top the train operating companies are sort of saying it's the government, the government are saying it's the train operating companies. You know, um, we are most of our railway. Or our, their profits go to other countries, to Germany, to Italy, and to France. Yeah. Why isn't it coming back into our own industry? Isn't that what we were voting for with Brexit? <laughs> well, there you go. So, you know, if we if we had the opportunity to bring it back into public ownership, where all the proceeds from fares will go back into the infrastructure and creating better trains, then surely that's a good thing. So this is not all about pay. Don't listen to. The, the spin from the right wing media. It's not all about pay, it's about safety, security of the industry. Yeah, and if you are not a member, why not? You've got a great union that's fighting on your behalf. So become a member if you're within the rail industry, if, you know, for obvious reasons. If you remember, at the end of the day, when they get the pay rise, so do you. So the bigger, the more members that they are there, the stronger the voice. All right, guys. I'm going to go see other people, but enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, Thank guys, you. I'm Bye. with another uh, representative of Azef Union, who's also doing a great job at the moment. Uh, however, the last person I was with represented the underground. Debbie represents the National Rail. So, Debbie, how do you feel about Toll Puddle today? Toll Puddle, I always enjoy coming down to Toll Puddle. It's always good to come down and join with other unions and to be in solidarity to other members of our unions. It's a good turnout. Okay, and with ASEF at the moment, you know, ASEF are representing all, you know, a, a multitude of different workers on the rails. And you guys have recently gone for industrial action. How do you feel about that? Industrial action, um, yes, uh, don't like to take industrial action um, lightly. So, um, Something needs to be done in this case uh, to get fairness across, across to all the members. Um, yeah, so, okay. so we are with that one. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, no one wants to take industrial action because no one gets paid while on a strike. 
So in order, in order for people to get their voices heard, sometimes you have to go the extra mile and take the industrial action. But you know, with unions like Azev here, you know, we know that they're going to be being wiped by their members. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Do you feel that there's going to be other challenges for the future that Azev has to deal with? I think again, uh, the challenges are is, is particularly uh, driver-only operation. Uh, this keeps coming into the equation, so that will be one of uh, a continued fight for us here. Um, is is uh, driver-only operation, and uh, we need the guards on the trains, um, not just for the passengers on board, but also for drivers in the event of any anything untoward happening. Well, it's funny you said that because we were discussing this yesterday as part of our, our workshop. You know how we need to get guards back on the trains again to help keep people feeling safe, especially at night. You know, it's not just the women that we're talking about, like Sarah Everhard, and you know, so you know they, it's not just that, that's a given, but also young kids as well, that maybe it's having a night gangs. We've seen a lot of knife crimes take place in London. So, um, you know, that's a good thing that you guys are, are fighting for, and I hope that it does happen. Yeah. Thank you so much for all the work you do. Take care. Cheers. Bye.